Also happening today, the driver accused of killing a jogger on Bayshore Boulevard is set to go before a judge. And also today, the victim will be laid to rest. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Mazzella is live along Bayshore with the goal that state prosecutors have this morning. Good morning, Lauren. Adia and James, we know that uh, Tampa police say that Benjamin Ehas was driving drunk actually three times the legal limit when he crashed into this iconic wall here on Bayshore Boulevard and hit George Gage III, who was jogging. Today, the state is working to keep Ehas uh, behind bars until his trial. The force of the crash knocked down that railing in the seawall, sending Gage into the bay. Good Samaritans did try to save him, but it was too late. We talked with the doctor who was there on Bayshore just minutes after the crash. I personally can't even go to Bayshore anymore because I literally was at the accident scene five minutes after it happened and I'm just terrified. Family members are celebrating George Gage's life this morning at 11. It will be at Hyde Park United Methodist Church, and his family is asking that instead of flowers, people make donations in his memory to the charity High Risk Hope.